everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, WWE Elite Series 81 in the house, and it's pretty crazy, guys, because I think Elite Series 82 is actually shipping right now, and a lot of people are starting to get their Elite 82 figures, and you guys know that Elite 82 is absolutely stacked. We have the brand new NXT Finn Balor, we got Keith Lee, we have the Alexa Bliss with the new Women's Championship, we got the sick-ass updated John Morrison, and I still, I haven't seen finalized images of Rob Gronkowski, but maybe they canceled that figure. I'm not exactly sure about that. But we also have the sick-ass Rob Gronkowski, so I don't know. Nonetheless, we're back at surgery. You guys will notice that we don't have The Rock featured here today, because I'm, I, I don't know, man. I'm just, I don't know. That figure was so bad that I, I didn't even want to look at it. I didn't even want to surgerize it right now. Dr. Wydeke said no. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive into what we got here. I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited for what we got going on today. You guys will see we got Montez Ford laid out. We got freaking Angelo Dawkins. We got Legends Eddie Guerrero. We got we got Shinsuke, we got John Cena, we got some cool swippages and swappages, we're gonna, we got some, we got some good swippages and swappages to get through, so let's dive in guys, so for Montez Ford, I wanted to figure out something for the legs or the shoes or something, but there's not a lot we can do with him, you know, I love Montez Ford, he's, he's definitely, he's like one of the most entertaining things about, about television, but there's nothing I can really do to this figure at the moment, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna attempt to uh, add to his hairline, like I feel like his hairline's a little bit too far back, so I think we're going to fix his hairline and possibly even add a fade to the hair because I hate how it just cuts off right there. So I'm probably going to play around with that, see what I can do for that and fix him up. And that's all I can really do. I was going to put some ricochet hands in here to give him mic holding hands instead of, you know, the red solo cup holding hands. But since, you know, the, the ricochet is actually a little bit lighter and I've actually tested it, I popped it in there and it didn't look good to me. So I'm just going to scratch that idea. We're just going to do what we got right here and uh, just, just try to attempt to possibly even add some facial hair. I'm just going to look at it we'll play around with it we'll see how it does and go from there but we do have Montez Ford here today and we're gonna fix him up or at least try to next up guys is Angelo Dawkins now for Angelo Dawkins there are a lot of things I want to do to this figure but none of it is really uh, possible in surgery at least for me and my talents so what I'm gonna do is just switch out his shoes man I'm just gonna take these red and white sneakers and we're gonna switch those out with this John Cena back here we're gonna switch these out for the elite uh, is it 17 John Cena or elite 23 John Cena I think it's elite 23 John Cena we're gonna switch these shoes over here. So the red and white sneakers of Angelo will go over to the Cena and the Cena shoes will go over here. So the black, red, and white will go over to Dawkins. The red and white will go over to Cena. And then from there, we're going to take the arms off of this Cena, the red, white, and blue attire from 2011. We're going to take these arms and put them over here to make like a red and white fantasy attire Cena with red and white shoes. I think that'd be kind of cool with the camo. We're just going to see what it looks like. Maybe it'll look badassery, but that's what we're going to do and make Dawkins look a little bit better. Just to fix him up, I just want to change him up a little bit, see what we can get going for him. Nothing too immaculate or crazy, but I do want to do it. Next up, guys, we do have Eddie Guerrero and Andrade. Now, at first, what I was going to do, and I still may do it today because it, it kind of bummed me out that I figured this out. It kind of, it didn't bum me out completely, but originally, I was going to use this Rey Mysterio, this Elite 24 Rey Mysterio. I was going to switch out the biceps from this guy over to the Eddie Guerrero and then acetone the tattoos off, but then I started thinking, oh my god, what if the skin tones don't match? And then I was like, oh my god, it kind of looks like it's a shade darker so then I discovered Andrade and I was like oh my god dude that Andrade figure's biceps fits perfectly but my idea was I didn't want this Rey Mysterio to be armless so I had this basic Rey Mysterio with the black sleeves and I was going to switch out the black sleeved arms for these arms then switch the biceps over to Eddie Guerrero acetone the tattoos off to give Eddie Guerrero bigger arms you guys can see it more cut more more accurate arms for Eddie Guerrero and then have the black sleeve look over on Rey and now I still kind of want to put the black sleeves on Rey because I'm not going to be doing the acetone tattoo thing anymore so god in heaven, man. I kind of want to do it. We'll see how that goes, but that is what we want to do. We want to fix that up and switch out those biceps and make Eddie Guerrero jack. And then last but not least, guys, we have a simple thing here. I'm going to put the Survivor Series Shinsuke arms onto the brand new Elite Shinsuke just to see what it looks like. I'm going to have these long black wrist tape arms over on Shinsuke over here, these blue arms over on the SmackDown, you know, Elite 81, and then we're going to pop off this head sculpt and put on this Ultimate Edition head sculpt because as bad as the Ultimate Edition head sculpt, interchangeable head sculpt, is it looks better than this i'm not a fan of my head sculpt it just kind of looks i don't know it, just, it looks like his face is melting off of his flesh
flesh and his skull, and I don't like it. So we're going to switch that head sculpt out. So we got a lot of stuff to do today, guys. So let's go ahead and shut the hell up and dive into it. All right, guys. So the first thing we need to do is get the arm switch. And I guess we can do that with Shinsuke. We got Cena. We can pop off the head sculpt of the Shinsuke as well, possibly, since we can get all this warmed up and stuff. You know, honestly, on camera, it doesn't seem as bad. Again, remove your T-shirts, man. Remove your armbands and your T-shirts if you're going to do something like this. Again, we don't want to ruin this nice quality quad click click clicky. You don't want to ruin nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the arms off right there, go up like this and get that all going. And not only are we going to heat these up, but we're also going to heat up the Cena arms just like so. And yeah, I mean, to be real, should we go ahead and heat up the Guerrero? And nah, bruh, we ain't doing that. Uh-uh. I don't know, bruh. I'm trying to think here. I don't want to waste steps, you know? Time is money. Time is money. Andrade, Eddie, huh, hmm. See, the thing is, is the amount of heat that we need to apply for these biceps on this Andrade and this, uh, and this Eddie Guerrero, I just don't know if it's, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's possible to get it enough heat that we need, but F it! You gotta risk it to get the biscuit, and uh, I don't know what this setup is, but we're running it. Get the acetone out of the way, get the white trusty hair dryer in the building, and let's freaking hit it, man. Let's see if we can get this going, see if we can get it all together. You know, I'm not baiting on nothing, I'm not betting anything, but who the hell knows, Brad? You never know. Well, I can tell you right now, Brad, that I, I, I'm, I'm about willing to bet $6,000 that this Andrade didn't work. Well, damn, Brad. Well, yeah, but see, the arm came off, but do you see that arm coming off? No, it got enough heat to come off, but it didn't get enough heat to pop the bicep off, which is what we, well, the, the other one didn't. Well, the, the six grand wouldn't have went through, Brad, because you got to complete the full bet. You can't just complete half the bet. Well, there's the one bicep that we need for Guerrero. Um, we can sit this off to the side. This one's clearly not completed, but there's Andrade's arms. We'll see if... If Eddie Guerrero's worked. Um, all right, we got that bicep done for Andrade, and there's that arm, and then we got to pop this side off. And this one didn't get heated up, so there you go. Wasteful. All right, over to Shinsuke and getting his arms off. One. Christ on a bike. Got that one off. This head sculpt. Wow, actually, oh my god, it brought his neck with him. Look at that paint chip. So this whole torso's in blue. Good to know, good to know. All right, popping that arm off and popping this arm over onto the Survivor Series, just like so, and then doing the same thing with this arm and popping this over here. And we'll take a closer look at this Shinsuke at the end, so putting him over on the done table. And then we gotta put the blue arms on the Elite 81. And then the other arm. Jesus Christ. Well, that was just lunacy. We're gonna put this head sculpt over here, though. Ultimate Edition head sculpt. Oh, that's tightness. Well, there's another arm we gotta heat up, so that's just terrific. Three arms, wasteful. Wasteful. And then last but not least, we have the Cena. Now, the Cena should be... I feel pretty confident in the Cena. I'm not, I'm not worried about the Cena. I think it got plenty of heat. For whatever reason, I felt like it got the most heat, and I don't know honestly why, but it just felt like it. You know when you just feel stuff? Yeah, it just felt like it. So here is the red arms going on to this Cena. And honestly, there's like some paint markings on this Cena, on these Cena arms that I'm not liking. But there's the red arms over there. That looks clean already. Like, look at that right there. That look, that looks pretty fire -ific. But next up, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up these Cena shoes. I guess I could pop these arms over here, right? You might as well, just to, just to do it. You might as well. Creates its own little attire right there. It's got the blue with the things and the black shoes. So that works out for me right there. Wasn't part of the plan, but it, it got it. So now the next order is going to be the shoes of the Cena's. Not the Cena's, but the Cena and the Angelo Dawkins. We're going to heat up these feet. And on top of that, we're also... Hold up now. Stack this here. And then we got to heat up all three of these arms. And while we're at it, I mean, you might as well heat up all this ish. All this ish needs to be heated up because we got to put these biceps on these arms and all that ish. And this terrible Shinsuke head sculpt, I just don't like. But put that over there. And I guess we can attempt it again. I don't know how successful, but we can attempt 
attempt to do the Rey Mysterio. And not only are we going to have to heat up the arms, but you got to heat up the hands of the Rey Mysterio too. So that's what that, that's what also makes that pretty bummy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit this. See if this one turns out better than the first go around. Again, need to get all this stuff in the center because anything on the outside is really kind of how it all got effed up. But let's just find out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if this ish is going to work. Let's go ahead and get in here. Let's see the one arm for the ray. Got it. Other black sleeved arm. Got it. Now over to the other one. We got to pop these hands out here. Got that. All right, that's the left arm. So the left arm over here. Need to go ahead and plug that in right there. And then, uh, what's that, the right arm? Jesus Christ, man. Over here and then up here. Oh, my God, in heaven, that's hot. Oh, Lord Jesus in heaven. Let's pop these off first. Got that, now pop this into here, and then pop that into here, and then I doubt these go, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. These need to be cooler! So there you go. All right, we'll take a look at that in a second. Gotta get that in there. Uh, I'm not gonna put those arms back on there. There you go, right there, and then that, and then getting the, gotta get these biceps off, so boom, getting that over here, and then popping this off of here. This didn't get heated up enough still. This arm is such a piece of ish. Urgh. All right, got that, and now this arm goes here. Dude, switching biceps is an absolute nightmare. I don't care, It's it sucks ass. Urgh, that's not going in right now. Jesus, man. Why do I switch biceps? Why even attempt it? Like, why? Why even attempt it? You know it's going to be a hoe. Oh, dude, I am about ready to lose my ish. Oh, man. I am just, I am just ready for sleep. Look at that. It's going to look all right. I just, I, I just can't get it on there. It's just, the heat's not there. And then even when the heat is there, it's not wanting to work. It doesn't want to flex. I might as well pop the Shinsuke on over here on the Shinsuke that's just sitting over here, for Christ's sake. Alright, the Shinsuke got done, but that doesn't help us with what we're going through right now, does it, Bradley? Uh, Alright, let's switch the shoes. Might as well get this out of the way. One shoe, two shoe, three shoe, four shoe. Alright, so the one Cena shoe. Alright, got that one. Now over here on this one, and the Cena will be completed. That actually went on there way easier than I thought. Alright, we'll take a closer look at Cena in a sec. And then we gotta get the Cena shoes over on Dawkins. There's the one. And then there is the two. So Dawkins and Cena, that was way easier. Jesus. Uh. Now this ish, the arms, the arms over here are really pissing me right off. So I guess we need to heat up these holes of the arms, but also heat up all this. Like, all of this has to be heated up. Probably don't need to heat the biceps up, because they need to be pretty stiffy-liffy, so the other goes in easy. So this is what we need to heat up, and then the hands of the Ray should go straight in, and then the arms of the Eddie and the Andrade should pop right in there. And yeah, should be, should be relatively simple. Let's find the hell out. All right, guys, let's see what comes of this. Now, first of all, I'm just going to try and pop these Ray hands in here. It should go. Oh, God, this is so hot. Oh, God, that actually, for some reason, the forearms aren't really hot, but the biceps are, which is really, really weird. But the Ray is done. Now, let's see if we can get the Eddie arms completed. Now, one thing I'll tell you right now is I'm not, I'm not switching the pegs. I just refuse to do it. But it's making it seem like I'm probably going to have to because it's not going on there. Let's try it this way. Let's try the old put the, you know, line up the holes and then push it through method. God dang, boy. Jesus Christ in heaven above. I wish they had a John Cena arm mold in this skin tone because that is, that's what this Eddie Guerrero needs to be honest with you. But did we get that? No. Uh, holy Christ above. I'm done with it. I'm done with them. I'm done with them. I'm done with them. We're going on to Montez Ford. I, I don't, uh-uh. Nope, not doing it, Brad. They might be done when you see it at the end. They might be. 
We'll see. I'll turn the damn car around, Brad. But anyway, so let's get into the, uh... You guys can see here, like, look how jet black and dark and thick this is, and then it just goes into baldness. It's just like they did with Kofi. I'm gonna look up some reference images, and we're gonna see what we can get going. Honestly, I like it how his hair is now, kind of, where it's, you know, he's got, like, kind of like a Jimmy Butler going on. It's, like, more of a messy top, and then he's got the nice, thick beard going down, so that's what I'd like for this figure, but I can't sculpt, so I don't know. We'll see what comes of that. Maybe I can get a customizer to do that, or BEW might want to do that, but I guess for now, I'm just gonna do a little paint job, so cue the old time lapse, and we'll see what we can get going. Finally, Jesus in heaven. I don't know what all you guys got. I know that I had to like delete some segments. I think I lost some footage. The camera died. I mean, there was a lot of ish going down, Brad. I, I ran into so so many football troubles. It was just ridiculous. But mercifully, we have completed it, except for the Andrade arms. I couldn't get those completed. Those will be done at a later date. But for now, we did get the Eddie Guerrero, guys. We got the Eddie Guerrero done, and look how much nicer that looks. Holy crap, it's so sick, because you guys know when Eddie Guerrero's just chilling there, you could always see his bicep veins and like his muscles popping out. So I think these arms get the job done, especially since we don't have, you know, John Cena arms to put on there just yet. But I think this definitely does the job. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. And it turned out better than I imagined. So that looks clean AF. So if you guys want to put bigger arms on your Eddie Guerrero, I think it's Sin Cara arms or Sin Cara biceps is what it really is. So uh, definitely do that. I think it looks really, really good. Next up, guys, is the Elite 81 Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, this one turned out all right. I don't hate it, you know? I felt like the head may sit a little bit high. He kind of looks like a damn old painting or something, but here's the difference between the two. I really like the way this one came out. I love the long forearm bands or the long wristbands. They look really, really good on the Survivor Series figure. The blue looks good on this as well. It's just the head sculpt. I think I need another Elite 63 to put on here. I don't know how low it'll sit, but uh, this head sculpt's pretty tight on here, but I like both of them. I think both of them turned out good. This one, however, I do want a different head sculpt. I just, yeah, man, not feeling that one either. It's just, yeah, it just, no, just terrible. Need more of this head sculpt. Next up, guys, we do have Rey Mysterio. Now, this one looks decent. I kind of like the, the full-sleeved, you know, tattoos, but, you know, this is a change of pace. I think it would look better if it had, like, a skeleton arm design going down or some of this, you know, pattern from, like, Days of the Dead or something. I think that would be really cool to see, like, some floral-type patterns going up in white or a skeleton-like arm to match the gloves. I think that would probably make it look a lot better if it said Rey on the wristband or something. It definitely needs some white to break up all that black, but, uh, nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. I, I still like it. It's not the best, but it is uh, something I enjoy. Next up is the Street Profits. I think they turned out great. I love the way that Angelo Dawkins' shoes turned out. I think they work out perfectly. Uh, the red ties in, the white ties in, and the black matches the sock and his uh, rubber bands here and everything like that. So the, the Angelo Dawkins turned out great. The Montez Ford turned out great too. I painted in his beard here. I painted a fade in the hair. It's not perfect by any means, but I like it. I also extended his hairline just slightly. Not a lot, but just slightly, and it makes 
makes it look a lot better for sure. So I think Montez Ford turned out great. I'm happy with the way both guys turned out. I'm excited to get, you know, newer updated head sculpts of these guys in the meantime, or I'll probably get customs made. It'll just depend on that, or I don't need one of Angelo, but I do need one of Montez Ford. But I do like the Montez Ford head sculpt. I like what we got going on. I may or may not get BEW to make, you know, the messier hairstyle, but we'll have to see about that and maybe sculpt a beard. But last but not least, guys, we have the John Cena. And look how crazy this looks. Look at the red shoes with the white outsoles with the camo shorts and the red and white armbands. Really creative idea, I think. I think it'd be really cool to see what he looks like with the shirt and the hat on there. Maybe I can show you guys that later on in the week or something if we have another customs video or something. But I like the way it turned out. You know, it's not, you know, it's definitely outside the box thinking. And this isn't thinking outside the box, but a nice surgery that, uh, you know, turned out better than I thought. Man, there's your faction. Now you got all three of them together. That actually be a banger six man tag, bro. If you put them three and then you go up against maybe the Viking Raiders and somebody else, or maybe these three versus the Usos and Roman. Oh shit. I don't know. Just throwing stuff out there. The Young Bucks and Kenny. I don't know. You might have a little fire six man tag there, but there's our guys. You got Shinsuke, you got Eddie, and you got the other Shinsuke, and then you got Rey Mysterio laying down behind there, guys. But I thought it was a successful day of surgery, even though it took me 20 million years to get completed. It is done now, and that is pretty much it, guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the action figure surgery episode. I am going to get into a random shout out from yesterday's video, so give me just a second and we'll get into this. So a huge shout out to Tim underscore Chance for this comment on our last video. He says, Bianca Belair versus Charlotte for the MDT Women's Championship match. Like if you want to see that. So I think that'd be a banger match. I think that Bianca Belair is definitely going to be in the contention for the MDT Women's Championship when we get there, but I got to finish up MDT Live so I can get it up to you guys. I think you guys are going to be Dude, I'm freaking excited for you guys to see this episode. Oh, shit, Brad. You guys are going to crap yourselves. That's all I can say. You guys know I don't give a lot of information about the pick fed. I, I let it be a surprise when it comes. But you're going to shit. You will shit. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much. Shout out to Tim for that comment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Yeah.